All right, so let's finish up this section and get the terrain texture to actually be a little bit different uh, where the path is. All right, and this this is really uh, kind of just a recap of how we did the texturing in the first place. So let's jump into Houdini and take a look. Okay, so to get this kicked off, what we want to do is we actually want to update our deform from paths HDA. Okay, and the reason being is uh, whenever we have a mask here, we actually just want to add another texture layer to it. Okay, so let's jump up and out into our SOP HDA's geometry node, and let's go first into our texturing HDA, and I'm just going to copy the attribute create node that's creating that base texture. All right, so again, if we were to uh, click this little info box, all right, we have all of our layers on our height field and these layers represent our texture layers that'll get generated so we just need to add one more over here all right and actually let's make sure that we are pumping in an appropriate data set there we go that'll be good cool so let's jump up and out and we'll go into our SOP HDAs here and we'll take a look at this particular result all right so when we go and we create a path we get this mask right here so I'm just gonna paste our attribute create node that we copied and what I want to do is I need first need to give this a name all right so uh, we have the mask coming out of here uh, and let's do a a copy layer so height field copy layer node all right and what I want to do is I want to take the source from the mask and I want to make a new layer called path all right so if we were to look at the info for this now we have this new height field layer called path. That's perfect. So what I can do is feed that into that base texture. And I'm just going to rename it to path texture. Like so. All right. And so if the name is equal to path, then what we want to do is we want to feed in these guys. Now, because I copied this stuff, um, we need to get rid of that. So I'm just going to default this to 5 and 5. I think it's what, what I had it set to. All right, so what that means is that we need to propagate those particular parameters up to our HDA. All right, so let's just get this in there. And let's not remove, make sure you don't remove that because the scattering node needs that particular mask. All right, but you can see now that we have a mask, we have a path, grass, cliffs, base, and height. So now we've just added another a texture layer based off of this particular step in our top network okay so the last thing we really need to do is just come up here in order to get our HDA working is we just need to go to our type properties for this which has no properties just yet okay and I want to promote so I'm, I'm going to actually just copy this parameter and paste that there we'll just promote the the first value there so this will be called the uh, tile rate so we'll say path tile rate like so and we'll make sure at least tiles once there we go and we also need the string up here so this is going to be our path uh, texture path there we go and we'll initialize it to nothing cool so that gets that all set up so let's uh, save that all right let's actually right click on this and I keep doing that so let's right click on this and say save type cool Let's jump back into our top node here and let's go to our deform from paths node and we're going to update our HD parameters. And I've always, I've noticed that this, this is a bug too. I hope they fix this here pretty soon. So if I use dollar job, it's not actually updating it. So let's go and get it again. That's pretty odd that it's not showing me any. Let's just do this here. We'll update. All right, and then we'll go and get our HDA again and update. Nope. Let's just make sure that we actually have the parameters on here. And it looks like it. Cool. So we have tile rate and texture path. So I want those guys. Let's just make sure we save this again. Make sure it's being saved to the appropriate place. It looks like it. So inside the asset manager, yep, we're inside of our project. That's good. 
Alrighty, so let's go back down here and let's actually just make another HDA processor and see what happens here. So let's go and load the deform terrain path. Aha! I wonder, let's actually just uh, dirty the selected node. It's really not wanting to do it, is it? Uh, that is definitely a bug. So we'll just have it here. So now I have these uh, parameters here. All right. And all we need to do is just make sure we set up our file stop inputs there. Just make sure we have the 10. I'll have to report that. <clears throat> and I don't think we added any custom tag. We did. There we go. Cool. So now we can just get rid of that. And we'll just wire that into there. And we'll call this uh, deform from roads. And we'll cook that guy. All right, cool. So we just want to check to make sure that our resulting data, so let's go to the PDG viz. So we can click on this. This is our terrain. We can look at the little info box and there we go. So we have a path, texture layer. Awesome. Okay. So that means we need to save our top network, but we also need to um, promote those new parameters to our PDG texturing folder over here. All right, and so what I want to do is I want to go to the deform from roads. Uh, let's also make sure that we put in PDG dir. All right, so you can see it shuffles these guys over. That means it lost the link. Super weird. Anyways, so I just want to put in our path tile rate and our path texture path and put a separator in between those so we can easily discern them hit apply and accept very cool and let's just take a look up here just to make sure so we have our path excellent so this thing is really becoming our master control center for our whole system i love it all right so with that we are good to go let me do one more check here everything looks good okay so let's go and save this and let's plop it into Unity. So I'm just going to copy this guy, put that over there, and go back to Unity. And we will have to do a rebuild. So, you know, this process really only um, happens while you're designing your actual top network. Once you're happy with it, um, you know, you're just starting to use the tool. So I'll get these guys reassigned, get the path reassigned. And then for our texturing, we now have our path tile rate. And I really just want to use this ground texture for now. I don't want to import another texture. Oops. So let me actually make a little more room here. And I wanted this whole string here. I think PDG is actually clicking in the background right now because I made changes. All right, so that's what I wanted to do. Cool. So if we go to our PDG asset link up here. There we go. Let's uh, cancel our current cook. Let's do a refresh and a reset. Refresh again. And everything should be good to go. So if everything went well, we should have a path that is now textured and also clears out the foliage. So let's cook our output and let that thing roll through. And there we have it. So now we have a texture. Let's, let's actually turn off our basic path here. Look at that. We actually have our path texture now on our path. Cool. So hopefully that helped out. Uh, you also need to make sure that you're not blurring the, the edges of the tiles. All right. just wanted to point that out. That's 
completely coming from the fact that we're blurring the terrain. So um, that's why I highly recommend instead of blurring the terrain, actually create geometry that um, is clean enough for the terrain to snap to because the blur will create these seams basically. All right, so there we go. Uh, I'm going to close this lecture out. In the next lecture, what we're going to do is a quick review of all the stuff that we covered. And then we're going to conclude the whole course. Thanks so much.